All right, welcome. This is the homework solution uh, for the I am one honors module four review packet. And we're going to go over the solutions in this video. I'm going to be covering the first uh, page, front and back. So page one and two. Okay, number one, what are the solutions? What is the solution to this equation? Okay, you have answer choices. I want to make sure that you understand that it's all the answer choices. The H should be changing into a six. Okay, but you can ignore that and we can just solve this equation here. All right, remember the idea to solve uh, this equation or to find the solution is to get the variable alone. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line straight down to separate my left side from my right side. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 7 to both sides, 7x to both sides, so that I can only get one variable. You can actually add the 2x if you want, uh, but this time I'm just going to add the 7x. That should cancel out. The 7 comes down, the 13 comes down, and the minus 2x plus 7x becomes 5x. Minus the 13 to both sides. That cancels out. Bring down the 5x. 7 minus 13 is negative 6. Divide both sides by 5. 5 over 5 becomes 1. You have x. The right-hand side becomes negative 6 over 5. Notice the answer is negative 6 over 5. Okay? That's what I mean by changing the... Um, in your answer, you see a eight over negative eight over six, um, negative eight over five. It should be negative six over five. Okay, this is the correct answer. All right. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about this before you move on. Um, some of you watch this. I'm going to do it differently, and you're gonna see. You'll see how I get the same answer. In this case, I'm gonna add the two x to both sides. Subtract two x. Add 2x, I get 13 equals 7 minus 5x. Okay, I see a 7 here, so I'm going to minus 7, minus 7 here. Okay, this should get me 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This should get me a 6 over negative 5x. Okay, you would have to divide by negative 5. In the end, you still get x equals to 6 over negative 5. Okay, either method that you did, whichever one you want to move, you would still get the same answer, okay? Um, two, what is the solution to this equation? Same process. Draw the equation straight down. Move the smallest variable. So in this case, negative 4x is the smallest one. So I'm going to add 4x. Why? You should see that cancellation. The 12 comes straight down from the left-hand side. The right-hand side, the 6 comes down. Negative 3x plus 4x becomes 1x. Minus 6 is both sides. So that should cancel out. You get a 1x on the right. 12 minus 6 is on the left. 12 minus 6 is just a 6. 3. Um, again, you're finding the solution here. Okay. Draw the equation straight down. What is the smallest variable, 5x or 15x? It would be 5x. So subtract 5x to both sides. That, could, that should cancel out. Bring down the 10 on the left-hand side. The right-hand side, 15x minus 5x becomes 10x. The negative 8 comes straight down. Plus 8 to both sides. That should cancel out here because you're trying to get rid of it. That's the reason why you do the additive inverse. 10 plus 8 becomes 18. Bring down the 10x. Divide 10 to both sides. That should cancel out. You get an x on the right-hand side. 18 over 10 can be simplified to 9 over 5. That was your answer. Okay. Good. Um, part 2 now. They say for what value of x is the following true? Okay. Notice here in simple English, uh, this just means to solve. Okay. You have, the variable, uh, you have the equation here. My first step is to multiply. Why should you multiply? Watch what happens when you multiply. Please understand this is really 2 over 1. This is really 2 over 1. This cancels out. Okay. This cancels out. So what you have left over is a 2x plus 20, which is just the top of the fraction. And negative 10 times 2 is just negative. Notice my first step is to get rid of the fraction. Okay. You can't do anything else. In this case, I subtracted 20. 
Some of you could have done this, and it's perfectly fine. Some of you actually wanted to do this. You could have done this if you thought it was cool. Alright, you could have divided this by 2, but if you're going to divide this by 2, this has to be divided by 2. This also has to be divided by 2. Get x plus 10. It goes to negative 10 here. Subtract 10, subtract 10. You get negative 20. Bring down the x. Okay, watch. Okay, so subtract 20, subtract 20 into both sides. This cancels out. Bring down the 2x to a. On the left hand side, negative 20 minus 20 is negative 40. Now you divide by 2. Okay, this cancels out. You get an x on the left, negative 40. Divide by 2 is negative 20. Notice. Okay, you see if there's a divide by 2 here in the end? Same reason it happened here. You see how there's a minus step here? There's a minus step here. The operators are the same, but the values are going to be different depending on its steps. Okay? All right, the next one. For what value of x makes this equation true? Again, draw the line straight down. I see a fraction, so I'm going to rid of the fraction. So here I'm going to multiply by 3. Why? Because this cancels out. Why? When you multiply here, some of you don't know how to multiply. Look, 3 over 1 times 1 over 3. When you multiply, you multiply across. So that becomes 3 times 1 is on top, the bottom 1 times 3, that simplifies into 3 over 3, which just becomes 1, okay? So, the top is just 5x plus 20, the right hand side, negative 20 times 3 is negative 60. Subtract 20 to both sides, bring down the 5x, negative 60 minus 20 is negative 80. Divide both sides by 5. This cancels out. You get x equals to negative 16. Next. Uh, here's the scenario. Ryan runs a total of 25 miles on this track in his previous season. If a typical season, Ryan runs approximately 8-minute miles, then which of the following qualities, quantities is an appropriate representation of the numbers of second Ryan runs on the track in a given season? Please understand the issue here that arises is that this is uh, looking for seconds, but you are given this in minutes. That is an issue. So what you need to do is convert. So here, the total was 25 miles is the total. Notice that he runs an 8-minute mile. So, so to do 25 miles, 25 miles times 8 minutes per mile gets you 200 total minutes. Okay? I don't here here's something interesting you if you guys want to like see it. Do you see twenty-five miles okay times eight minute U T E and you divide this because it's per right minute per one mile. Right? Notice how the mile here cancels out. Twenty-five times eight. And the unit left is minutes. Okay, this is called dimension analysis. Okay, so notice that's how you got that value right here. Okay, that's how I got total minutes because the miles cancels out. But you want the answer in second. So how do you go from um, total minutes into total miles? There's 60 seconds in one minute. Again, if you want to see it, let me show you the dimension analysis. So you have 200 minutes you're gonna multiply this by 60 seconds and the bottom has to be the minute this cancels this cancels all right getting you total what's left seconds right oops Oop, this is wrong it should be seconds Okay, that seconds because look, the minutes canceled out. The second is what's left over. So, three, six, yep, twelve thousand seconds. Okay, took him twelve thousand. Twelve thousand seconds is twenty-five miles. All right. Oh, is that it for the first page? Uh, yeah, that is.
it for the first page. See you in the next video.